Eva, hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you, Frida? I'm very, very warm, because as you probably know, we're having a horrible heat wave over here. Yes, you are. I'm really <laughs> sorry about that. I know how, I know what that's like in London. It's not nice. <laughs> it's, no, it's no fun at all. But congratulations on the film anyway. It's really, really lovely. And it's, as it's a film about luck, I wondered how lucky you feel as a person, not just because you're in the film, but generally. Oh, I feel very lucky. Um, I'm quite a... I wouldn't say I'm an optimist, but I would say that I like making the most at a moment. Uh, I definitely have a lot of emotions and I feel things very deeply. But I would say that I'm, I'm a lucky person in regards to the things that I have in my life. More, not things, the people that I have in my life and the things that I'm able to do. I think that's, that makes me very lucky. Which is great. And this is your first animated film and you're playing the lead as well. So yes. no pressure. <laughs> uh, well, I did it already, so I'm, I'm fine now. <laughs> so what was the appeal of, of playing Sam? Um, well, first off, the team, the team that was involved, and Keel, the, the wonderful, incredible writer of the script, and Peg Holmes, a director, um, who wouldn't want to work with a team like that. Um, and also, I, I had never really heard of a character that was or a movie that centered around the idea of luck. So that really kind of, you know, hook, line and sinkered me. I was very interested in that. And also Sam just felt like such a endearing, charming character. And I, you know, I just thought it would be a really good thing to audition for. And did the fact that you could use your singing talents as well help with that? I'm not sure. Actually, when I first auditioned, um, no, no singing was involved in the project at all. So it was just strictly, you know, just a voice acting gig. Um, and they didn't tell me about the Lucky Star cover until I think a few months in. So, <laughs> yeah, what a, what a nice surprise. Well, yeah, absolutely. So how did you go about preparing for the part? Because obviously as it's voice acting. That's kind of different to doing something in front of the camera. Oh, completely different. Um, I thankfully didn't have to do much prep. Um, I mean, my job was very easy from start to finish. I, I walked into a studio, the script was in front of me. All I had to do was read and, and, and hope for the best that my acting skills were good enough. But I had the director there. Peggy was there for every session we did over Zoom. So um, yeah, I had a really easy job. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from Peggy being there over Zoom when you were recording, um, Voice acting does normally mean that you're by yourself in the studio with nobody to sort of react with or act with. Was that the case for you? Yeah, but it, it was interesting, but also, you know, where actors are used to going with the punches and going with the flow and, you know, a script has, can do a lot for you if you are um, awake and if you're willing to kind of look at it like that, you know, and we had a very meaty, descriptive script, so there was really no reason, there was nothing else I really needed um, to, to put those lines down. And Peggy was an amazing line reader with me. She did a very wonderful job. So it didn't feel strange in any way? Not at all. I mean, the things that we have to do in our job are strange enough. I, I mean, my, my job every eight times a week is I, I go to hell twice in a show. So I think that's pretty strange. So. But sitting in a room, yeah. just reading lines and getting recorded, that is not too weird. <laughs> this is a doddle by comparison. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is probably your biggest film role to date. Um, and it's probably a little bit too early to, to consider whether it's your, your big lucky break in your career. But so far, what would you consider to be your big lucky break before this? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I, I continue to work uh, and do the things that make me happy. So I, I always think that's a lucky break. I have a job to go to every day. So I, I think that's a lucky break. I don't really consider, I, I don't know. I, I don't, maybe I'm weird and I'm not experienced in this world, but I seem to have a different opinion on what is a lucky break. Um, I, I'm able to make music and do concerts whenever I, whenever I would like to. And I think that's lucky enough. I, I think, I define success not with how big projects are, but how um, how I feel doing them, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. There's two big acting legends in the cast. You've got Jane Fonda, you've got Whoopi Goldberg. Did, did you actually get a chance to act with them at all in the studio? Not, 
No, unfortunately. We also have Simon Pegg, who's an actor, who's a, a legend in the UK. Yeah. I've been a fan How of his work for many, many, many years. Um, I didn't get a chance to, to act with him, no, but I think the pandemic, unfortunately, put a lot of uh, roadblocks in the way. And also, you know, some people live in LA, some people live in the UK, I live in New York. So it's really hard with, with everybody's schedules to have had one-on-one um, -on -one sessions. So, um, but we made it work anyway without having met each other, which to me is crazy, but that just goes to the incredible team, uh, editing team on Luck. So you haven't met each other at all, ever? I've met Simon. I've hung out with Simon a few times, and I've met Flula just about 30 minutes ago in the hallway, and I <sighs> met Peggy for the first time yesterday. It's It was really crazy that we've never met, <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Thinking about um, Simon's character, Bob, the, the black cat, of course, Sam has a, a very close relationship with Bob eventually. Um, I wondered how you were with cats. I love cats. I, I'm a huge animal lover. Um, yeah, I love them. I don't, I don't think that it's fair to treat black cats any differently. It's not that they chose to be born uh, a black cat. Um, and also, I just think that they're all very cute. I really do. Uh, they're lovely and I totally agree with you on, on black cats. Yeah, it's not fair. It's not fair to them to treat them differently. It isn't. Do you have one of your own? I do not have a black cat. My partner is unfortunately quite allergic, but we do have a small four and a half pound uh, long haired chihuahua that actually does kind of look like Bob the cat, which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> she does actually. I don't know how Bob would react to that. <laughs> I think they'd be very good friends. Eva, it's been lovely to talk to you. I really appreciate your time. And like I say, love the film. Thank you so much. Thank you, Frida. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!